I would like to introduce you to Gerilyn Ozlewski and Catherine Hornig, who are going to speak with us about the importance of working together or collaborating. Gerilyn is a veteran in District 89 and Catherine Dewar to the profession. I hope you enjoy their words on collaboration. Well, hard act to follow, you know, maybe we should throw off our shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to help with this, right? Um, when Emily first approached us today uh, to talk today about collaboration, um, Catherine's first response was, sure, we'll do it. Does anybody that knows Catherine knows? She'll say yes to everything. <laughs> Almost everything. <laughs> Carolyn's first response was like complete silence. And then after I twisted her arm a little, she said yes. And then she pretty much had daily panic attacks every day. <laughs> well, my next thought, our next thought was, uh, what do I get to offer? Um, I certainly don't consider myself an expert by any means. We have a district filled with talented people. Um, so, what do I really know? I just know that I really love working with other people and collaborating just makes mundane tasks seem fun. We have a third partner that we work with every day, Jill. I hey, Jill. She's at. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jill. Hey, Jill. Look how well we remember you. We're wearing the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, somehow Jill was, wasn't, or maybe was at the right place at the right time when we got out to do this. So, hang on. <laughs> So in thinking about this, um, our first thought, our thought was exactly what really do we have to offer on this topic? So sit back and relax and remember, this could be you next year. <laughs> okay, so here's one thing we know. This is how we feel most days. How about you? Some days we feel like this. And of course, how about all those days we feel like this and go to all those meetings, solve all those problems? And here's what happens when we don't help each other. When we feel like we can do it all, and we usually can, and sometimes we resist, but it's important to remember that it's okay to ask for help. I'm sure everyone agrees that our job is challenging for sure, but when we work together side by side with our colleagues, we can make the load more manageable. How many plates do you think we spent today? Well, we have reading, math, social studies, science, writing, parent conferences, emails, individual and grade level problem solving, building meetings, district meetings, coming <laughs> out those present levels of performance. Oh yeah, what about the students? Oh yeah, what about teaching? There's also evaluating, developing and differentiating curriculum, not to mention spending time with our families. This goes on and on. When first preparing for this presentation, uh, we looked up the definition of collaboration, which literally means co-labor or work together to produce or create something new. That sounds right. And for us and our team, collaboration just feels right. It didn't take us long to realize that working together was much better than working alone. Some of you in this room may have been in situations where collaboration wasn't a core part of how your team functioned. As you know, sometimes um, it can be difficult to try something new, sometimes even a little scary. Sometimes people work as an island. Which means we could be missing out on opportunities when we don't tap into each other's expertise. But working alone doesn't facilitate the same creativity and energy as when we work together. Each year seems like we face more and more challenges and new challenges. This past year, for me, seemed exceptionally challenging. Uh, a new next generation science standards, a new writing program. And then there's the students that pass in and out of our doors every day. No two students are alike, we all know that. And sometimes students will start the year with us, leave. Sometimes they're with us for just a few months, sometimes they start, come back, and end the year with us. Open a door to any classroom in District 89, and you're going to see students working together teachers teaching, not just a curriculum. We're helping create thinkers and doers who are collaborating. They may be huddled together at tables or at desks, 
on the floor working together, reading or working with computers. Peer-to-peer -peer collaboration is taking place in every classroom in our district. You may see teachers walking around the room, or they just may be sitting quietly at their desk, allowing and empowering the students to learn from each other. In District 89, we try hard to teach our students to respect each other and to share responsibility, to trust one another, and to um, work together to, uh, to create their learning environment. We, too, as teachers, try to set that example. And we believe that everyone can learn. And we trust to believe in our students. It doesn't take any professional development to teach our kids to collaborate. It happens in each of our schools in every classroom every day. So we were thinking, imagine that you're going to build your dream home. What professionals are you going to need to make that happen? You need an architect, an engineer, self-designer, plumber. And all these people need to work together to make your dream a reality. If something didn't go as planned, you pull everybody together and make up a new plan, right? Form a plan, collaborate in order to solve the problem. We think of our kids the, like the dream home. We're the architects and the and consultants and designers. Not only does effective collaboration improve teacher performance, but it also improves student performance. So we found Four stages of collaboration, which were written by Harry Grant and William Ferreter. And they are called forming, storming, norming, and performing. And you'll probably recognize some of these stages when you get together today. Well, in forming, this is the stage where the team comes together, um, hopefully with excitement and anticipation of creating something new. This could be when we get together at building meetings or team meetings at the district or in our buildings. We talk about shared goals and we brainstorm ideas. It might take some people a little bit of some time, you know, to feel comfortable in sharing their ideas, and we all know that that's okay. Everyone kind of comes to it and does it in their own time. In storming, this is when the teacher styles of practices can be a sensitive area for a lot of educators and can sometimes lead to conflict. But we know through conflict, and growth can occur. I know that when I have my mind set on something and somebody has a new idea, I have a really hard time accepting that idea. So I have to really make a conscious effort to listen to what everybody is saying. In norming, as educators continue to collaborate, they begin to see the positive side of working together. We don't try and outdo each other. We, we value what each person brings to the team. And performing is the last stage. This is where teammates come together and we agree on what happens next. Sometimes teammates can disagree on a topic. So we just dis discuss it with the understanding that um, the ultimate goal is improvement. Um, we feel fortunate in our second grade team that we have authentic communication. With integrity, we can have open and honest feedback with one another in order to improve. No hard feelings. So, does any of this sound new? No, it's what we do every day. Spending four or five or more plays a day, not unusual, right? We have to be on all day, every day. <laughs> In order to meet our students' needs and help them to be their best. There we go. When we do this and we join our forces and our resources, we reach our goals. So we know some of you are sitting there thinking, well, when does all this collaboration take place? The answer, all the time, right? We never stop thinking about school, unfortunately. unfortunately. <laughs> we talk and text and email before school, after school. We think of things on the way to school, in the hallway, on the way to the bathroom, in the bathroom, <laughs> at lunch, and during plan times. We collaborate with RTI and EL and building specialists, tech group, along with building staff, administrators, parents, and students. We collaborate all the time. What is your favorite time to collaborate? Hmm. I think one of my favorite times to collaborate is before school. And I've been known to meet up with friends for a cup of coffee, maybe a Panera. Uh, and we solve all kinds of problems. I bet. We do. <laughs> we constantly seek feedback and advice from colleagues. When we work with one another, 
doesn't matter if we collaborate with somebody who's at a different grade level or even at a different school. Um, we share ideas. When we get together sometimes, sometimes on the surface it sounds like we might be complaining. I like to think of it as we're just emptying out our frustrations and we're kind of looking from, for some insight from friends. Let's, let's take a second and look how times change. So, like in 1960, it was the parents yelling at the kids to say, these grades are terrible. 2010, till now, of course, same comment, these grades are terrible. But now it's taking to the teacher. Right? So this is a great time to reach out to our friends and say, okay, how do I respond to this one? Right? We help each other get ready for our daily challenges and try to put a positive spin on each situation. And we get ready for another day. Sometimes we get discouraged, shake our heads and say, I'm done, so done. <laughs> but we're not. <laughs> so, once again, we look to our friends for some advice and search for something that will help us come back the next day uh, to try something new. We collaborate. <laughs> so we, when we have to keep trying to spin all those plates, trying to get through our day-to-day -day challenges, try to continuously improve, help those students grow academically and socially, try to plan, assess, be a synactive staff member, and stay, stay sane. sane. Who helps us? We do. we do. We feel fortunate to be able to work with so many colleagues. We call our friends, and so many of these friends we call family. We not only can count on them, but they truly make us better people. It's the conversations that we have that spark ideas and solutions to problems. I know I do a better job when I work with one So we'd like to close in saying that we're not here to say that we know everything about teamwork and collaboration. We work hard each day. We work together to share the load. We're in this together so that we can all shine. Thank you. 